Shazam! Where is my overlay? Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Let's put some names up. Boom. And let's see. There's only two of us. That's a little better. Right, right. Awesome. Hey, if Kev shows, great. Hey, Greg. Shazam. How you doing? Hello, Greg. Greg, Greg is uh, eagerly awaiting the new speed champs. He just built the uh, the dune set, eh? Did you see that one, Nate? I've seen the set. I don't know. If, I don't know if I saw Greg's video. I got to. Well, I had to put a video. He put photos up on Facebook, but um, I got to hold it in the Lego store. They had just assembled it, and they were about to put it uh, behind the uh, acrylic display. Right. It's like, wow. I mean, that was something. That's definitely a little beastie. That really, I was really impressed. The videos I did see, I was really impressed on all the features it had. Yeah. The, 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 the blades folding up, the, the legs coming out. Well, can you imagine if they didn't make it all fold up? Like, it's a nightmare to display for a lot of people. It's big. Right. It's really big. Yeah. And if they didn't do some of that stuff, like people would have still eaten it up, but it's like, and then what? Where are you going to put it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not not many of us are brave enough to hang that one because um, that's absolutely something that'd be cool and hangable. And should ask Greg, hey, Greg, where'd you, what, what'd you do with your Dune set once you build it? Your or, Was it Ornithopter? There's it's a name that rolls off the tongue. Yeah, that's something <laughs> hard to pronounce. Yeah. I just saw the trailer for the second movie. It's looking good. I mean, I love big budget productions, and at least they stacked it. Just like the original movie was stacked with great actors, it looks like they've stacked it with enough recognizable actors. It might even overcome the lack of good actors. Right. It's on display. Yeah, you'll have to show me some pics of it on display after. Awesome. So I went out. We did uh, another walk today, dragged wifey out. She, she did great. And uh, we got our 10K steps in and uh, on our way back, had lunch. And then we went and picked up a few packages from Walmart. Oh, my goodness. You'd think it'd be easier to pick up packages from Walmart being an employee, right? We discovered a, a unique little problem when I got into the store and I'm go up to customer service. That's where we do the pickups. I don't have them come out to the parking spot because I can never get to the parking spot. There's always someone parked in the spots. You know, they shouldn't be there, those right. customer pickup spots. So we, we just don't bother. And um, and plus, my, my home location is lousy for it. It's just not well situated. Anyway, um, I get in there, and I got like four four orders to pick up, and and they've sat there for two days. I've been meaning to get in there. And I figure, okay, we'll do it today after lunch and get in there. And, you know, uh, new guy, when I, you know, finally get through on the phone, yeah, I'm at customer service, blah, blah, blah. It's Richard Martin, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, can you give me an order number? I go, well, I got a whole lot in the system. So it's easier just to look at my name. He looks at my name. Great. And I tell him there's four. And, of course, he comes up to the counter five minutes later with three of them. I go, where's the other one? He goes, oh, let me look it up. And he starts keying them in and, you know, okay, the first two go through. That's great because the first two packages are part of the first order. Great right. problem. And that's my stuff, my, my, my stuff. And the second one is the family stuff. And only one is there. One that was delivered to the store yesterday, but the other half of that order was actually picked in the store locally the day before. And I told him this, and I said, look at this stuff. Here it is on my phone, blah, blah. It's You guys picked it, I guarantee. And he goes to the back, comes forward. He doesn't know anything. And I think he's new to doing the customer pickup stuff. So the uh, white guy I usually deal with, he says, hey, Rick, how you doing, blah, blah. So he right, he knows me, recognizes me. And, oh, I'm just picking up my stuff, but they can't find the stuff you guys picked two days ago. Oh, for sure it was a pick item? Yeah, yeah, because it wasn't shifted here. Okay. And so he goes to the back with the new guy, and then they come forward with, 
um, the manager, a nice Indian fellow that I deal with a lot now, who usually calls me, say, Richard, your orders are here, but he, he hasn't called this week for anything. And I uh, goes, so what's the problem? And I go, okay, I'll explain it again, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm real patient. Right. He goes, okay. Um, and it's attached to this. I go, yeah, it's the same order. This one was shipped from one of our warehouses, one city over. And the rest of them, you guys picked it two days ago. He goes, how do you know? I go, well, there's no shipping code. It was picked here. You guys have it flagged as ready. You picked it here. He goes, oh, okay. Goes to the back, comes forward. He goes, oh, so we did find it. Brings me the fourth package. But it, what's interesting, it was actually in my wife's name. So here's something new that we found out. So being a split order, the one that was shipped from my warehouse, no problem, had my name on it because it's my account. Still my account, the stuff that got picked. But because I have multiple credit cards tied to the account, we use wifey's because it was not my stuff. It was the family stuff. So we used her card. Well, it fly, he just wrote out her name. I guess that's the way it gets flagged. Well, I said Richard Martin's here for a pickup for whatever packages. The guy didn't look for anything under my wife's name, you know, A. Martin. So, right. <laughs> no thinking outside the box, but I'd, since I did tell him it's likely a pick order and it's in a bag because that's what they do with a small amount of items, they'll just put them in a paper bag. And it's like, oh my God, all this childhood. It took an extra half hour. Usually, what takes me five minutes took me 35 minutes. Like, oh my goodness. They go, oh, we're so sorry. This, I go, no, you don't got to be sorry. This is, hey, we all learned something new on this one. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, because they, like a lot of Walmart employees, they get shit on a lot, right? And they're, in the last two years, they had to pick up so much extra work. Um, because now, if it can be picked in the store, they do pick it in the store. So if you make an online order and you say, I'm going to, I'm going to do a pickup. Great. Where, what location, this location. Great. If it can be picked in that store, they absolutely do pick it in that store. Right. Post the shipping, it. you know, save money. And it's there within hours. Like it's ready. It's ready. Sometimes three hours later, if you key it in. So, I mean, it's working for the company as a whole, but it's really hard on the employees in the store sometimes. So at the stores closest to me, we have like lockers. They they pick your order, put it in there, and then they send you a code through the app. So we had that. We had the lockers in the front of the stores, right. and it was a pilot project. We ran it six, eight, ten months. Hey, Brett, Shazam! Thank you. What up, <laughs> brother Brett? Um, we did have them. We had them in all the stores, and actually, my former company was the one responsible for um, uh, building and installing them and everything. It was good money. Well, that didn't seem to last, and I don't know if it was software problems or the courier's problems, because it was a lot of it was deliver from the warehouse to the lockers, and then, like you said, with the code and that. It just didn't do well, at least not in our stores. We do have these lockers outside of stores now, like at gas stations and right. banks and other places and subway stations, but not in the stores. Uh, there may very well be lockers in the back, but they're not forward-facing in the front of the store anymore like they were when we first launched them. So Canada is a different beast with this stuff. It's like we also had the handhelds. You could walk into the store. That was another project we had. Most of our flagship stores in the Toronto area, they would have 50 handhelds. You walk around with your shopping cart, scan all your items, and you were done. You'd walk out of the store. Right. That... I don't know why that didn't take off. I don't know if it's because people were damaging the handhelds or just well, theft that, or or all the above. I don't know, but that didn't take off either. Scanning. <laughs> Sorry? Not being truthful with what they're scanning? Well, there's always that. I mean, more than one location has, like Ottawa, one of our Ottawa stores closed down the self-checkout. Theft was too high. It was just ridiculously too high. And so while self-checkout works in some locations, it doesn't work out in others. And I don't know if it's the lower income areas or what. I don't know enough about the area in Ottawa that was shut down. But Right. See, down here, they, they, they push more and more self-checkout. Then they just people standing at the doors demanding you to see your receipt before you can leave. Wow. Which I always hate that. I mean, we have 
so my location we have one guard it's not even a regular employee it's just a guard and honestly very rarely does he ever ask and even today like that would have been a good opportunity for him to ask or check because i did have that one open bag of stuff and no receipts in my hand yeah my name's on half the stuff but still right. that would have been a good opportunity to do a spot check but whatever but uh, yeah, I got a little bit of stuff. It's a little bit of a mix of things. Oh, let's get into it. Yeah, let me crack it. this one. Of the things I didn't pre-check the sealed stuff. There was nothing I was terribly concerned about. So sometimes I do that. Did you see Mama Lego popped up in the chat? Oh, oh, oh! I must have missed it completely. They are way at the top. I'm such a bad host. Hey, Eileen. She was bad. <laughs> she went to Sherway Gardens, which is one of our three, one of our three big malls that have an actual Lego store. And she bought some stuff. So yeah. Everybody should make the pilgrimage at least once. Oh yeah. For her, it's it's um probably a 10, 20 minute transit trip if she's not being driven. She's saying, remind her not to go again for a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but she spent plenty, right? So hey, it's, it's good for the soul and good for the economy, right? <laughs> go and spend some money. That's good for Lego. I mean, did you see what they did over the weekend with the, uh, the brick link releases? Mm. Someone posted something on there of each one. Three of the five getting sold out put them over the three million mark for the twenty-four hour period they were online. Oh yeah, yeah. If you consider the how many they sold, like the whatever number of units versus yeah. the cost, yeah. No, they they did pretty good. Oh, they did fine. Um, and in these are the and just so everyone has an understanding, these are the limited runs. Now there's a there is a higher cost of doing a smaller run, but. It's not that much, and they make it all go away anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you can't use the pieces. You yeah, know, another set or put them on, or yeah, you know, so. make an extra ten thousand copies. I'm sure they'll sell eventually. That's something that probably no one thought they would ever see on this channel. <laughs> Bubba Fett. <laughs> well, I mean. They got these in the black series, and I can't tell them apart because of the, you know, they're all like five, six inches tall, and it's like, right, you know, price was right, and I got the discount on it on top, twenty percent. So it's like, and he's one of the few characters, and it's like, I hope I haven't done a bad thing by getting this. But nothing wrong with those, though. I've I've got a few. I don't do Star Wars, but I do have a few figures, um, that like yeah. that, like um, it was him or Vader, and I'm still tempted to get Vader because the Vader looks so good. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they do well. They will reprice nicely. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can flip this camera without leaving the stream. Uh oh. I love the paint job on it. They, it's really uh, weathered. It looks great. His little wrist mounted uh, rocket um, oh, here you go. thing is there. It's like, oh, nice. Got the the yeah. car. The carbonized graphite Mandalorian. Oh. Which, like okay. I said, I don't do Star Wars, but I saw this in minty condition and grabbed two of them. I tell you, I love that card even. Yeah. It shows so well. Actually, I was really impressed it came looking this good. I, I, I didn't have too many high hopes. I almost ordered a Chinese one just for giggles, but I said, no, I'll get the real one. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Eileen says, I'll put this up. They were doing a free giveaway at the store for the kids, but it got too crowded. Well, wait, did you go today? Is that, yeah, it tends to be Saturdays when they do the events. I know um, a lot of the Lego stores are great for that. Toys R Us up here is amazing for Saturday events. For the build and take events, you build a small little thing and you take it with you. Great for the kids. I what I really hate is when the adults are pushing the kids. Yeah, much. It's like, guys, you're forgetting who this stuff's really for. 
Well, I mean, they need to do it to where it's the kids only first, and then leftovers are, you know, first come, first serve, for first come, first serve adults that are behaving themselves. Yeah. Standing in queue. Right. You know? and, and then they turn around and, and, and the adults go, oh, I got four kids. None of them are there, right? It's like, you know. It why? doesn't count if you don't bring them. <laughs> well, there's that's that's my view, right? Um, that's absolutely my view. If they're not there, it doesn't count. It'd be different if you had all four kids with you, like, go get daddy his Lego. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you got to love this bag here. And this is the bag I got from the store. So you weren't on last week, Nate. But did you get to skip through last week's video? Last week's stream? Um, yeah, I think I, had, I was lurking in the chat. While I was oh, lurking. so you, you saw some of it. Okay, so um, tripped over a store the last couple of weeks. And they had... Um, snoopy set right yeah okay i saw that one yeah and some people said they would help me out and some people absolutely did help me out um wifey helped me out with one so i got that i've got to uh, add to the collection so i got this one here um no, so the Eagle scout one that's cool I've, I've, i had the eagle scout snoopy for a while the little pvc character oh yeah no i yeah. I mean, Snoopy, Charlie Brown, the whole Peanuts gang. I mean, I love that stuff. It all—it really tugs at me. I and remember then, being at Target like years ago. You know, they just sat there on the shelf and they couldn't get rid of them in clearance. Some stuff's funny like that. I don't know if it's the pricing or the lack of advertising sometimes. Or, right. hey, you know, if there's not... So many people are used to the toys having something like a cartoon or a movie or a tie-in that will push it. And if there's nothing that will help push it, it doesn't go, right? Yeah. Now, the other day I went out and um, this would be – actually, this was um, Thursday. And I hit three stores local to me, and I figured I'll see what I can find. So I did find some more of the Wave. So I've got everyday fun. I don't have high expectations of these. They're just cheap little sets. Is that is that the bird's tree house? It it's a nest. A nest, okay. Yeah. Mast Marvel. First one with a uh, Lego looking motorcycle. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah. And it's a little bigger too, not by much, but it just I still looks can't like a big yard. Well, <laughs> Well, piece count seventy four versus uh, actually, you know what? You're you're kind of right. They literally just made the boxes bigger. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, here's one that counts a little higher. Everyday fun, little carnival looking thing. Okay. Now, sadly, they're largely all more or less the same figure. Yeah, they they are some different schemes and different personalities on them, but. I was hoping to find like a Red Baron kind of stuff, and I couldn't find one. This is the last one, right? Yeah. The, the one I remember was a baseball field. Oh, yeah. And and I wanted to find one that had, you know, um, was it Lucy in the football? Am I thinking right? Or whoever had the football? Wow, well, yeah. I mean, that would have been perfect. Lucy should have been in that one. Yeah. They definitely cheaped out on this stuff. I mean, I, like I said, I don't expect too much. So you said there was a Charlie Brown in one of the sets? Say that again? There was a Charlie Brown in one of the sets? Well, there was one on display, but I've yet to find it. I mean, I'm still hoping someone will source one for me, but I'm done motoring around the city. Yeah, that's going to be one of those things. You have to look on eBay and find them just, you know, dying. People are... Uh, I really hate to pay eBay rates for this garbage, but you never know. It, maybe that's what it'll take for me to find the ones. Not for me. Oh, I like these guys. Which one you got? Is it Optimus? It's Optimus. Now, my buddy collects Optimus Primes. And he's, oh. he's got like everything from when we were a kid to now, all the third-party stuff he can get his hands on. Right. And when I saw the Star Scream and I think Bumblebee in our dollar stores, I've been looking for this for six months. And every time someone says they see it in the dollar store, I go to that dollar store and I can't find it there. Oh, I didn't know they were in dollar stores. In our dollar stores, Dollaramas, 
dollar round was okay. Yeah, two dollars, three dollars, something like that. I yeah, mean, it's, beast, it's way yeah. overpriced for what it is, but it's still cool. I and mean, I mean, it's not for me; it's for him. So, yeah, we're probably going to stick it with his uh, gift card for his birthday coming. So, up. yeah, I've got I think that one Bumblebee and Starscream. So yeah, well, you got that's it. That's the, as far as I know, that's the whole line. That's the three of them, right? Yeah. And then I've got about five He-Man ones too. Oh really? Okay. I, had a I didn't know they ideas, had the uh, He-Man series. So actually, I think didn't you show us one? I think you showed us one. The He-Man. Uh, first, I was going to say I hadn't seen it, but I'm now I'm positive you might have showed us one. If not, I know they're in this drawer behind me. I'll, I'll break them out if you want to see them. I'd love to see the He-Man because I do the He-Man. Hopefully my buddy's not watching. I mean, he's not a big Lego guy. Actually, the only Lego he's got is Optimus Prime. So, <laughs> is the Optimus Prime? Is the Optimus Prime? Yeah, I, I caught him into it. It wasn't much of a con. He loves it. He says it's a little on the fragile side. He's not wrong. All right, you're in luck. I got them. They're all right. Nice. Eileen wants the bag. <laughs> Actually, Eileen, I'm surprised you haven't been in that store because they're they're in most of the malls, apparently. All right, let's see if my camera's still on correctly. Oh, okay. I just realized. Oh, hang on. Let me move you there. There we go. All right, so I've got the Optimus you were showing. Yeah. Then there's the Bumblebee. I see him in all of our stores. And the Starscream. Starscream is a little harder for us to find, I guess, because he's popular. I would have thought Bumblebee would be hard to find. But right. Prime has been impossible. Six months I've been looking for it. And then, yeah, here's Skeletor. Oh, I like that. There's Tila. Nice. Uh, there's a battle cat. Oh, wow. And he man. Are they poseable at all? Any idea? Um, I think their arms might, their arms and their arms swing. I don't think their legs do. Like, do you think he man can mount the battle cat? Um, shows it in the picture. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you might be able to just kind of awkwardly sit him on top. <laughs> so have you got the entire wave now? That's these four. Now, I've seen a gray skull, but I don't know if it was a custom build or not. Okay. But yeah, that's that's the that's the four that are pictured on the first wave. I mean, if they were priced accordingly when i was younger i would be all over them the micro miniature type stuff because i loved all the small stuff right yeah i think i paid retail for these probably six or seven bucks each not bad i know i didn't find them all at once no i was it's it, it's funny how the the little things will make you so happy like when i saw that <laughs> And that was on a day of driving around for two or three hours, hunting these bigger things, you know. Yeah. Burning but, more gas than the stuff's worth. But it was just fun. It was something for me to do. Well, that's and, just it. I'll, I'll be out with the wife and kids. We'll be. I think I got those at Target. And she's like, do you need those? And I'm like, yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm an adult. And I've got adult money. And I've got it. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get something for myself every once in a while. Let me. I don't have a lot of room. I still got every build from the last three weeks on the desks, which is not smart. But okay, that's it. There's there's the bag, Eileen. Let's see, it's just a store. But I'm really surprised they actually do that. I mean, it actually, yeah, it is Disney. So they probably con these guys and they don't pay them the cost of the bags too, right? So what store was that? That was like you said, like a little thrift store. Uh well no, okay so all of these yeah that's the name of the store Miniso Miniso okay yeah it's a Japanese store um there Miniso yeah I see it on the back of the bag yeah, yeah. okay and um, a lot of neat stuff in there 
I'm not going to say great value or anything. Some interesting stuff. Um, for me, it's like the Americanization of the Japanese product, or at least a sampling of it, because sure. like of uh, Japanese and Chinese products. Because when I go to one of my last trips, I mean, the co last couple of days, I went to a strictly Chinese mall. Just out of the giggles, I hadn't been there in years. And I went in there and it, to see the real difference between the real Chinese imports and the stuff made for North America, you know, pack, repackaged for us. And uh, really neat seeing the differences. Let me just pull them all for it. Ooh. Okay. Since we're talking about the um, Asian stores and stuff. So here's another one. These guys, ones, they kind of do the same thing. So they're in our regular malls, but they're largely um, catering to and importing the Asian products. Now, what was interesting was I saw two things I hadn't seen before. Well, one I had saw before, but I didn't import it because it would have cost me too much. And right. the other I never saw before. So check this out. So this is a brand name I know, but I've never really bought. Keeply, my camera is not where I want it to be. Okay, I've There's... not seen that brand, but I know the the Hello Kitty line. Yeah, and it is it is a uh, official branded stuff. There is multiple sets. To me, this was the only one I was interested in because it had the Hello Kitty I recognized, not the three or four others that I didn't. So I don't know if the scale is lego actually this one should be lego scale right because a lot of what these guys do is not so i think this one is lego scale and then this one i was really tickled about because i was able to get this for less than what it would cost me to import it oh it's a pikachu yeah, like a oh like a burkhead's pikachu 12 13 bucks canadian this one was 29 actually that one was a few bucks less but yeah But yeah, Pikachu Brickhead, you know. Um, and I honestly don't know if it's going to be a Lego scale or not because they do the Lego and they do the half scale. So, oh, so you don't know which scale the bricks are till you open it. No, I don't. Um, There's no I, 101 sticker on the side that tells you the, the ratio. Mm -hmm. No. And I tell you, oh, the back actually, it's it got a QR code. I'm curious. Let's see. Is that even going to be readable? The QR code is printed so badly. Oh, it's like the CMFs I was trying to scan at Kroger the other day. Oh, was it bad? Yeah, I found well, I found two boxes, and one was the small, the small QR codes from Europe, and they weren't. They don't do crap over here for the QR reader. Oh, the large no? one, though, I couldn't get four out of five of them wouldn't read. The print was so light, the scanner wouldn't pick up the, the square. Oh, look. See? The QR code doesn't work anyway. It's invalid. Yeah. So, what a waste of time. Must be an in-house code. Very possible. So, yeah, that was kind of cool. So, yeah, keep leading. And I've been meaning to bring in their stuff. And I might have done some of their sets. I don't know. But they've done a lot of nice stuff. And I keep considering, oh, this set, that set. But it's like, hey, little Hello Kitty. Yeah, I'll be interested in when you build that Hello Kitty and do the review, I'd like to see how that building looks compared to a Lego minifig. You know? Yeah. Well, definitely. It, hmm. It's got posable arms. So yeah, I'm really curious myself. Uh, 11 centimeters. Let's see. Is this a dual? It's no. 12 inches. Okay, so that, that, that'll that be Lego-ish scale. Well, how many blocks I mean, How many blocks high is that 11 centimeters? Does that include his ears? Uh, <laughs> presumably. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It's more well, like eight. when I do the Pokemon stuff, I'll do that in the same way. Yeah. Anyone can stretch it out for three more centimeters. That's just not cool. 
no. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, let me. Oh yeah. So. Oh, I'm, big box, trying, big box, big box. Yeah, I'm desperately trying to hide something there, but it's going to be visible in a moment. <laughs> we'll get out first. But the other one? I don't know. Whatever you're trying to hide. Yeah, why not? So. Ooh. I mean, unless you're in the land, they're going to oh, keep God. you out for six months. So there's another one, Eileen. <laughs> oh, that bag's awesome. <laughs> yeah. The branding on the front, but it's like, you got to love it. So the, the lady goes, would you like a bag? I go, yes, please. You know? And uh, she goes, this is all I got. I go, no problem. I mean, she probably was worried that I'd be embarrassed to walk around. Yeah. No, I, for because for me, I know I'm going to put it on screen or whatever. It's not a big deal. So I'll preface, preface this with as much as I don't have too many high hopes for the Snoopy, it's even less so with this. So you've got here. I'm going to have to mess with my camera. What does that say? So the racer? Yeah. So these are little 200-ish piece car sets kind kind of close to probably the six wide speed champ scale and apparently they either transform directly or indirectly and they'll join up and make a big guy so I picked up a bunch of cheapy oh wow yeah so the intent is to build the robots and build the super one. Because it's really the super one I have any interest in. I've really gone in heavy on this cheapy stuff from the store. I really don't have any intention of getting any more, but well, I was worried about two of the same. That would have been horrible. I needed four. And that actually it's the only reason I bothered, because when I saw it previously, none of the stores I'd been in had all four. It's like, okay, so these guys had the four. So I want to make him when I'm done. I'm waiting wait for the YouTube feed to catch up. I want to see this big guy on the back of the box. Oh, it's a little slower for you. Okay. Okay, so you split the yellow car. That must be a rebuild then because you're splitting the yellow car. Yeah, to build the big guy, the then you're, you're doing a teardown. Yeah. So it's a four and one. Yeah, see, it doesn't say transform. It says four and one. Yeah. The circle around. Yeah. The, little the individual cars. I can see the joinery. And it looks like they transform. No, it's got the two and one symbol on the bottom corner, though. Oh no, it has four, 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 four and one here. Yeah, but maybe when I, they, maybe the, I mean that'd be awesome if they just had those. Well, I only expect this to transform to this. This I expect to rebuild. Right. Yeah. When I did, um, I'm trying to think, I, I did a Devastator years ago from. Oh, you'd have to go back and look at one of my videos, but and it was cool. It was six. Actually, it was horrible. So instead of six Constructicons, they kind of fudged it and made seven, because the seventh one had the extra parts and hardware needed to join them all up. Oh, okay. But the end result looked like Devastator. It's just sad that it, they went about it in such a hokey way. <laughs> I'll have to watch that. I, th I think I've seen the set. Yeah. There was actually two I considered getting, and I went with the one just because I thought the color scheme looked closer to what I feel is the original G1 looking. Right. Oh, I'm done. I'm done with that rabbit hole. <laughs> I said you've gone down a rabbit hole. Yeah, I'm done with it. But hey, I got lots of cheap, cheap video content now for a while. I mean, each one of these probably be in one belt stream and one to build them all. And, I mean, it presents well enough for cheapy, cheapy stuff. I just don't expect it to be great. And for the pricing, you know, they're very cheap, very affordable compared to the leading brand. Now we'll. I'd, I'd love to catch those at five below or something. Oh, uh, well, and that's the thing. There's absolutely a lot of that stuff there. I mean, it would be nice if this was, you know, say the Hello Kitty was in there, but everything else could absolutely be found in a dollar store type environment. Yeah. 
No, I mean, yeah, the five below I was in last week had some Hello Kitty sets. Really? Were they branded or unbranded? Like, um, like official? You figure or? Well, I mean, See, the Hello Kitty brand gets hoard out so badly. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you and me could afford a license. You know, we just say, yeah, we want this, and here, here, take our two thousand bucks or whatever it is, and we'll send you, you know, the half cent per whatever, whatever residual they might want. They may not even want it. They probably just make it on the license. You know, <laughs> some guys do. Some guys don't take a piece of the action. They just here, here, like you know, um, RCA and Kodak, right? right? Well, they're not real companies anymore. They're brands. And they'll take money from anybody. And then you could pump out, you know, Kodak this and RCA that. And they don't care. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they have a real long time. Nice thing about these. Discounted. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. I wasn't so sure. Tuesday was our 20% off at Walmart. So that's the first time I've seen that model. And this one. They didn't have the new white one. Apparently, the white one is something that can be ordered. I'm not going to order it like exclusive. So, have you not already done this black one? No. Um, I have done the. So I've done a small black one, one oh, that's okay. kind of yeah, one that's similar to a Speed Champs kind of scale, and that did the big one, which is burgundy. Um, okay, but you know what? The pricing was good. Get a Hot Wheel, non-exclusive. Already, actually, I've got this one. I actually, got that Hot Wheel over here. I just got it, and it's not. Not only is it not exclusive. But it's actually not a new one. It's been around for a while. 2013. So, yeah, I just picked it up, you know, in the last month. So I'll be interested, if you open that, I'll be interested if that's got 2023 20, print on the bottom of that other. Oh, you mean like on the metal? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I would imagine. I can't see them stockpiling. That many for 10 years. Yeah. 10 years, the bottoms. All right. But, um, so the skull face on the front of that is that one piece? So um, the claws and the skull is one piece. If it's the if it's the same as a previous one I did. Okay, it's probably smaller because the other one was a bigger car. But if it's done the same way, which it looks like it is, then yeah, it looks like one more claws piece. Are, are one piece. And I had threatened to make a mold, and I didn't. Although I still could, it's not stopping me. I tell you though, the Hot Wheel is actually pretty slick. Cadillac ATS VR. Yeah, it looks like it's a nice little build. Not bad, not too much air. Yeah. Well, the book, see that the books are big. And that's the thing. And I know a fair bit of the weight is the book. Yeah, half the weight in the box is the paper. Yeah. So super. Super happy about that. I got two left, and well, is there is there something you want to like finish up with a grand finale? Because I can go next if you want to break it up. Well, yeah, let's let's throw. And then you you can come back to the good stuff, the best of the best. Oh no, hey, your stuff's cool. <laughs> See what you got. All right, so I can't remember what I showed you guys last time. Did I tell you about this Walmart clearance I hit up? And I got I, some Marvel sets. I think so, but show us one in this. Uh, it was the Jet because you weren't on last. You weren't on the last show, so it was, it was a little while back. Yeah, the X Men Jet, and yeah. the fact that you got it already clearanced is amazing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on at Walmart. Okay, so that was definitely like an oopsie or a return already or something. Because no, uh, I mean, for us, that's a hundred dollar Canadian set right now. That was a bunch of amount of cart. So, uh, all right, so I picked yeah, up the tracks. Yep, four of these the other night at a Target was clearing them out for thirteen bucks US. So I'll grab four of these. Um, 
Amazon, you know, these wish sets, they, they did not do much with these. So this was on Amazon for half price for 25 bucks. So I told my wife to grab us one. So I'm guessing that's a movie I don't know about. Yeah, it's a Disney movie that I don't know. It's like, also done that badly. Failed in the launch or just, I don't know, like nobody heard about it. It released, it tanked in the theaters. I oh, mean, Disney's suffering. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurting this one just like everything everything that could go wrong went wrong with this movie. <laughs> but people that have seen it have told me it's decent. Like my kids are like, oh, it's good. I'm like, you've already seen it? <laughs> like, I didn't know it was out. Nice. But yeah, but I, I like the little cottage look. I'm building a um, like a wizard's village. Okay. For my Harry Potter stuff. So I told my wife. definitely some it. good parts in there for sure. Oh, yeah. It's a great part set. I mean, I would struggle to find a use for the yellow, but everything else, I'd be all over that. Yeah, I love the yellow, my little thatch roof. I just, like I said, I'm just gonna build it like it is and leave it in this, leave it in my village. Um, let me see, got a couple more of these Dollar Tree cars. I've been so tempted to buy some of the similar type stuff that we have in our Dollarama stores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got joy toy and then we got another one and then we got max steel i did buy a max steel set but i only bought one i like this this dollar tree make it block i use a lot of their i use their base plates for almost all of my mills plates right now oh really hey that's a good cheap way of doing it yeah i mean yeah there's a, there's a stack on the shelf there i bought this and no, no issues with the studs like it they line up great and everything they they line up well enough you can get well if you don't with my mills plates i don't build the the walls completely full like i leave little gaps so they'll bend just a little bit okay where the actual lego plates click on the onto the studs for the walls so yeah i've never had no problems um then some lots i picked up you got a venom. Oh, mega that's block a mega venom, right? Yeah, that's a mega venom. Cool. Yeah. Well, I like these. It's got the larger torso. Yeah. So I like that. So yeah, I got all three of these guys for a buck each off somebody. Chima figure. I don't recognize that blue guy. Um, he's a he's a vintage transformer, but I think he was a happy meal toy. No way. Yeah, because he literally like the head folds back. That's it. That's crazy looking. And then let's see. Hold on a second. Let me move some boxes around. Jordan's dying to get on, but he's not home yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where you don't, at? Don't wreck your truck, buddy. <laughs> well, yeah, truck. You, uh, he's with his mom, I think, tonight. Oh, that's all right. You're talking about family dinner or something. Like yeah. What a good news Jordan is, something I was waiting for did not show up. So it's, and when that shows, that'll be a big deal for me. Oh, so I wish Dan was on because Dan would love this old stuff. I got a, a lot off somebody on Marketplace that had these creatures. So, what, what theme is this? Uh, it's Mega Blocks Crystal something. Really? Okay. I don't know if it was the crystal creatures, but I got some, um, this is a World of Warcraft set. And then these figures here, these are World of Warcraft and um, Assassin's Creed. Ooh. Figures. I've really got to get one or two World of Warcraft sets. Even if maybe I should just go and hunt down like a pricey set that's I have like whatever's iconic. No way I would hunt down all the sets, but oh my goodness. Yeah, and then I got, um, well, let's see what we got here. So this golden egg goes with this dragon. This is definitely a crystal creature. Nice. Yeah, Dan could probably tell us exactly the set. Right. And then I got this like griffin looking thing. I didn't realize he had a broken wing no repairable uh gluable i don't know if it's gonna move i'll have to see might be able to 
hot glue or pin or something in there. Yeah, that's what people don't realize. Like sometimes when you got those weird plastic or rubber joints and it's like a half split joint for, you know, yeah. the fitting, and they don't realize it. you'll take like a small needle, snip that, heat that up, stick it in one end, stick it in the other. And then you could use that as a bone and then glue your parts back together. You get really good results sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they can definitely be fixed. But the whole, I bought this whole lot just for this rideable cat here because I ended up getting three of these in this week. So that looks like a, like an armored saber tooth. Something. Yes, yeah, this so is one, one of the World of Warcrafts. And the reason I like these is because I have a custom painted one of these to look like Battle Cat. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. and he just looks so much tougher than the you know the battle cats that Mega's released. Yeah, and then these oars are from the Viking ship. Okay, and I bought the Viking ship off this guy. Unfortunately, it came in a bag, so I've got to build it still. But that's it. Did he give you the instructions or you got to hunt them down? No, no instructions. I looked them up online already. Oh, you got them. Okay. You found yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. I found, I found them on the Mattel page, but you're lucky because there's so much missing from that site. Yeah. I, it's um, just because they were so pissed poor about documenting and archiving what they were doing. Mostly because of their people weren't paid enough, you know? Yeah. They were bad. Um, and then I got some Valentine's Oh, Day. you got one. <laughs> yeah, so this one's for my wife for Valentine's Day. And then uh, this one's for one of the kids. Nice. My boy likes building mechs, so I picked up this Venom one. I almost picked that up. I thought about <laughs> yeah. it. I just don't really, I mean, I love mechs. I just don't want to venture there. I, bad enough, I bought the Boba Fett one. Right, that, it's that rabbit, I tell you, I well, love my youngest. It. My youngest loves rabbits, so I got her this one. Is is there a secondary build to that? Because I know some of the dreams have a weird transformation. Like I know the bus, right? The yeah, little, the bus has got this one, bus. This one's more of you can just kind of put the parts on how you want. Okay, so she can skate or she can fly. Okay. Well, she can do both, probably, if she wants. But, yeah, I don't know if the bus can be the turtle or the bus. Very cool. Did I show the... the um, yeah, so if I, if I was phones on here, I showed you guys I got this... Oh, this house. Oh, God, that's so cool. With this giant, weird green deer thing. I, I just the color schemes. <laughs> that's just so wild. Yeah, well, like I said, oh. I think they'll go well in my village, my wizard's village. Well, I tell you, I can't wait to see some progress shots once you start working on that. <laughs> oh, my Might be God. a while, man. I, I'm, this year alone, I'm just trying to work on getting the space. Yeah. Just building on stuff again. Oh, I've realized. I hear you. I have, nowhere to, I have nowhere to work on anything this year. Well, so, one of the reasons I still have my sets across the back is I still have some room for cars and then i got to start deciding what do i start breaking down to make room for current builds and clearly i'll be building a lot of robots this year so right. and these guys are all 10 11 inches so they're definitely going to need up more space than the car sets like i've got and i should take some current photos but i've got some of my shells glass shells where i've only spaced them out four inches and i've got the speed channels so i've got them four deep going like six across and then i've got them stacked up like five shells high so in that same area i might only get Good. Six, six to ten robots if i'm real creative i'm squishing them in there uh, so i'm you know, while i've gotten hundreds of these car builds and i'm not going to get that many robots and that's just the 12 inch ones i still got like the monkey king i got some giant monkey king here set to do and that one i think is 18 inches or taller at least i actually thought about making that the next bill but then i figured well i wanted to do the uh breaking bad van so RV. 
Yeah, that looked like a fun build too. It's not bad right now, especially for anyone who's more in line with classic Lego and classic Lego techniques of just building bricks straight up. Yeah. You know, yeah, I like Technic and I like the advanced building techniques, but sometimes you just want to plop down a brick and build it up and get somewhere. It's just a really good relax. And um, not only is it a relaxing build, I almost made a big mistake when I opened it up, ignoring that there was numbered bags. I actually kind of temporarily resealed one, put it out of the way so that I can get to it later. Because I would have had to have a thousand pieces spread out. <laughs> I was like, no, no, it's actually three sections of bags. Like, great, I'll just do section one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So that turned out pretty cool. Let me show you what I got from the land down under. Oh, wow. What, so importing from Australia, is that decently priced for you guys up there? Here's the thing. Not only is it not bad, like we don't tend to... Well, here's, okay, so one thing. Uh, if it's like eBay or one of the other platforms, Amazon or whatever, they use a lot of their forwarding services and that helps a lot. Right. Because you're not getting dinged at custom stuff. But I haven't been nailed badly with custom stuff with Australia or New Zealand in a long time. I haven't imported nearly as much during COVID, but every time I've dealt with Australia, it's fast. Like we're talking a week to seven days. You know, uh, I know that's, yeah, you know, five to seven days. And I get it. Honestly, this got to me a lot faster than anything that, say, I do from eBay in the States to Canada. Right. This is faster. Funny, eh? And doesn't necessarily cost me anymore. And the, the dollar isn't bad and all that kind of stuff. There is shipping, but I'm not getting nailed with tariffs or brokerage or uh, import stuff. I'm not getting nailed there badly. So that doesn't mean it won't come back to me later. It never has. They can absolutely come back to me. But um, I'll make sure I switch the cameras before you open that. Yeah. Well, I, I scratched out the most of the stuff in here. I'm just going to take the import dock off <laughs> only because I do want to keep that for my records in case our version of Uncle Sam comes back later and says, hey, you owe blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's your version of Uncle Sam up there? Do you call her like Queen Anne? <laughs> no, actually, no. The, the Queen has very little to do with our setup. The, go the Governor General sits on a little throne. He does nothing. He's a figurehead. Right. He's a representative of the Queen and nothing else. But uh, this set, as long as it's what it's supposed to be, this is Dan's fault. I would never have bothered, except for Dan. Didn't even know this existed. Except Dan exposed it. <laughs> it's like, oh well. Oh, did you get the helicopter? <laughs> we'll see <laughs> if I get the damn thing open. What's surprising is there's still very few people with the. Uh, what the hell? Okay, this isn't what. I will have to double check. This one was supposed to be. Not what you ordered. <laughs> oh. No way. Okay. You know, in Monopoly... You get a card sometimes, pants card, yellow card. Bank finds in your favor two hundred dollars, and you feel really lucky. Okay, I'm. I have to check something. There's no way. There's no way. So, talking about the bank, is there something you? Got a refund on you didn't think was coming? Um, 
something that was disputed and now it has shown up all of a sudden. So the dispute part could be the thing. So check this out. So quite literally, okay, I'm going to show you. I didn't think I would have this story to tell. That is not supposed to be in the box. Oh, nice addition, though. I've not seen that one. Or did we know we looked at that one, though, didn't we? We did because, uh, okay, I have ordered this not once but twice. Okay. Right. So this box, and I just checked my order. It's only supposed to be. A and box. it's the helicopter. Let's go. So they were both in the box. They were both in the box. Now, my order. Your item was delivered Tuesday, February six. And I'm going to go. Yeah, it's on the GI Joe Tomahawk military vehicle. Okay. So I cannot explain. Uh, this is what I'm supposed to have. Yeah, that so, was so, in the box. I don't know why that was in the box. But I mean, is it from the same company? Uh, like uh, not the same set. Nope, nope, nope. Not the same seller. That's weird. So they just threw it in there? I don't know. I mean, now, that's, that's a five-star feedback right there. I don't care what happened. So <laughs> now, now let's add to the story. When previously I ordered this and it got stuck in Illinois. Right. This is Australia. Okay? This guy, this is Australia. Yeah. And it did not go through the States. Okay. So... First one of these I ordered, December 22nd, got stuck in Illinois at either FedEx or USPS's uh, Bounce Depot, right? And didn't go any further. And after waiting more, uh, I waited a week longer than the delivery date was supposed to. And I finally said, give me my money back. It's sitting down there. Canada FedEx doesn't have it. FedEx in the States is sitting on it, blah, blah, blah. I want my money back. And eBay's great. Da ding So this did not bounce through Illinois or any other U.S. hub. So it's not like they could squeeze it in there. So I don't know why this is in the same box. So right now, that's bonus. Now, here's the thing. I do have one I paid for that's out there in the world that's two to three days away. It has actually cleared the third step in in it's transit and it should be entering the country anytime. So I may end up with two of these silly things. Oh, nice. Now it's not worth much to anybody. No one really wants it. But the thing is like a month ago, I didn't even know or a couple months ago. I didn't even know these two sets even existed. Cause I was so preoccupied with all the other sets. Right. But yeah, no, I remember the stream. We were looking at these and I was just like, Oh wow. Those two are awesome. Yeah, and you know, Dan showed this one. It's like, damn, now there's one I gotta get, right? And yeah, but and now you've so he has he not got the mad dog or the mean dog? What is it? Mean dog. So now my collection's complete, but I still have this guy coming. Well, if you've got a second one coming, you can you know, work something out with Dan. So. If he'd want it, I don't think he'd want it. Oh, I mean, he'll want it if he's got the others. So remember last time when we looked at these sets, they're really bad. So let's here we'll try and let's... yeah, I don't know how many you've built. I've only built the snow cat. Yeah, the is clutch great. was horrible, and I yeah. won't open anything else. So <laughs> whole camera there. We'll do our best. So there's the pretty box art, and look at this crud. <laughs> yeah, look at this piece of pos. <laughs> Three figures. Um, Duke hardball and wild card only. Duke, I not even a yeah, not even a figure scale. Oh, the vehicle probably not. No, it's not. So I got that. Which 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 is what kills me because they could have gone 
I mean, what is that, like an eight wide model? They could have gone 10 wide and made it, you know, the figure scale. It wouldn't have hurt them to. It really seems like they just were, you know, they had a hard on for keeping the certain piece counts as if they know, oh, if we only have it as this many pieces, we make this much money and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, but at least the helicopter, the, the figures can sit in that one, right? Kind of, sort of. I mean, it's it's it doesn't look anything like the artwork, but at least the figures can sit in it. Well, we're, we're hoping. <laughs> we're really hoping, but <laughs> the propellers are horrible. But yeah. oh, everything about it is horrible. Like it's so bad, it's good. I mean, uh, the only, the only thing good in that box is the sticker sheet. <laughs> <laughs> God, I mean, look at the the um, what do they call that thing that stops the rotation? I mean, that prop, I mean, it's a wagon wheel. Oh, my God, yeah. I see it they didn't even <laughs> use the small little piece that Lego does have for that. Um, well, that, the, the little propeller on the back, are they supposed to be the same size? That's not even the same model helicopter. Oh, God, God you're right. That's how bad this is. Or at least something close to the scale, but yeah. Oh. So, so, so bad. That is no, just leave that in the box. That's just so horrible. It, it's going to be a collector's piece. <laughs> so, unless someone finds yet another set, I got them all. Yeah. So, keep your own marketplace. Somebody else will pick that up. And try yeah, to get I rid can't. Of it for I honestly can't figure this out. Like, <laughs> bank found in my error because it's like, this is not the same seller. Plus, the other one got lost in um, Illinois. And this so is there is there there any is. is there any possibility that they end up at a central hub and then they're repackaged and then sent to you? Okay, so well the stuff coming from the states could absolutely they could absolutely um combine multiple orders from multiple sellers. Right. I I would hate to have, see them ever do it from multiple sellers, but they could. And then I mean, drop I mean, ship that up here, and then it gets open and shipped to me direct here. Right. Because, yeah, I know anytime I ship internationally through eBay, um, there's a hub here. We're sending to the Kentucky hub. In Cincinnati. Yeah. But I ship it to them, and then they open the package, repackage it, ship it to whoever the international buyer is. Yeah. I think I still, let's see, the info where I got re so refunded. Um. Oh, can I not look up the tracking anymore? Well, if you're oh, refunded. Yeah, they... Oh, no, look. Let's see. Glendale Heights, Illinois was the last point, And it had stopped on December 26. Because I ordered on the 22nd. It got to Central Stream, Illinois on the 24th. Got to Chicago, Illinois sometime that day. Um, which I'm guessing is all like something's like a suburb or something like, and then and yeah, uh, Glendale Heights, Illinois is where it stopped on December 27th. It actually changed area codes, 60139. And it sat there and stayed there in that status until I think it was January 15th. I gave up on it, which made it you know, a week late at that point. And the guy had said, just wait, wait, it's international shipping. And I waited and I waited a, like, I was just waiting, uh, worried that I'd get to a point where I couldn't get a refund because I yeah. forgot how long eBay protection is. Cause I, I generally haven't had to deal with it, but yeah, I had to use it. And, uh, okay. So I'm a little happier tonight than I thought it would be. But like I said, I've still got a paid set. I got to, cause it's still showing transit for this other one which is a different seller and like i said there's no way this aussie package it didn't even transfer through the states huh well, yeah you're right um glendale heights is a neighborhood or a smaller city to the west of chicago downtown is it probably probably where the sorting hub is for whatever and um it just it just died there, and honestly, what probably ended up happening, it got damaged, and someone just threw it, pitched it, so they wouldn't get in trouble. And because hey, I know warehousing, I know what happens. Wow. Okay. 
Interesting. So yeah, he's definitely going to get. And I, actually, I'm real bad about not posting the feedback. So, <laughs> <laughs> you five stars. Five stars. Bonus set. And, and, and did a decent job packaging and doing some bubble in there and um, air, air airbags. He mentioned the bonus set. They'd be like, "Oh, dear purchaser, uh, oops, bonus yeah. set sent by mistake. Please, yeah, <laughs> please see new invoice." Yeah. <laughs> So we got that. Will that stay in there? Oh, no, the handles. Nope. You dirty butter. That's okay. So this is what we end it with. I was super happy when this finally showed up. Didn't know when it would. This one, I have no idea when I would ever build it. There's actually a chance I won't. I don't know. I didn't buy it when I thought of Oh, this is going to be a keeper, but don't open it. There's very few of those I have where it'll be my collection, but I have no intention of selling. But Wow. Okay. Hey, it looks good. Oh, you got it. I got it. Now, it slowly has appeared in a few stores. Right. But I pulled the trigger on the very first opportunity to import it. I just figured it was such a unique concept. I didn't want to I didn't want to see this one pass me by. Yeah. And it's not that I'm a huge Beatles fan, I'm not, but stuff like you know, the Ed O'Sullivan show. Ed Sullivan show, sorry. I mean, just having a piece or sticker, or right? well, it won't be sticker. It's prints, right? Um, I just couldn't let this one go. That comes with real lights. Yeah, apparently. I mean, that is a definitely keep in the box. Like, I feel like that build is going to be, eh. I mean, half the pieces are probably in the base. Well, for me, those figures are... That's what some people are going to be really interested. Yeah, in. but you'll you'll find those figures. People are going to start buying this up. They're going to find a clearance, piece it out. You'll find those figures cheap within the next two years. Oh, you think so? Oh yeah. Boy, I wish I could put that somewhere. I got nowhere I could put that. <laughs> no room. Right. Super cool. Hey, Let's if move you this need back. extra storage, I'll send you my address. Oh, hey, you know I got the storage thing kind of. Uh... I'm good. With that. I will find a place to put stuff. Oh my! Uh, I'm I'm almost there. My wife was telling me tonight we need to get a lot of the stuff out of the house. She's like, maybe shove it in the garage or up in the attic. And I'm like, or yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's all a matter of what it costs in your local area. And if sometimes you might have to drive a little further to get a better deal on it, but. There. I love this one with the date code and everything for the show. Oh, let me. Nice little piece of history. I oh, the black and white picture on this one. Show awesome. 75 years old or 75th anniversary of that show. No, that can't be right. What would be 75 year anniversary? Let's see, 1964. Well, no, not with this year. Oh, I'm too tired to do the math. 64 would be 80 years from now. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if it took them that long to get their act together on this? So the box is branded 2023. Wait a minute. Am I right? No, I'm not right there. It's 64, no. 50 years. Oh, maybe it's. The age of his show? Well, I don't know. That seems odd. But that's what they put there. 75 years. The Ed, the Ed Sullivan show. Really, really, really good shoe. That's my bad invitation. Oh, yeah. That was a groundbreaking show. But... Very nice job on the box. Art. So, what? I mean, what brought this on? What's the history of why they decided to make this? Can't imagine. 
you know, but there's been so many rumors now that they're going to come out with five more sets in the next two years. Music theme. I'm hoping Kiss is one of them. Oh, I'm sure Kiss rolling. Because Kiss, well, they they'll license their stuff to anybody. Oh yeah. Um. So I would really love to well, see. Well, okay. So what what is Mattel made of Kiss already? Mm, I don't know. Have they done anything? Well, I mean, that's what you want to look up. What 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 is Mattel? Do they already have a relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever Mattel's already done with whatever bands, and then you can just yeah, they probably still own the license. You know. Oh my goodness. So I've got about a week's worth of photography because I haven't taken pictures from the last show yet. Old oh, son of a gun. Yeah, you got plenty to do. Yeah. This just isn't going to uh, look at that. And I'm going to cover the Beatles with the garbage set. That's just dumb. <laughs> take, take your picture of those two G.I. Joe sets and send it to Dan. Oh, my goodness. But right now, I'll be like, you missed out. But it's okay. What a shock. Because, and, and when I opened the box, I just saw this and I was, oh my God, now I'm going to have to deal with yeah. it again. It's like, no, I don't. I like Jay saying uh, ACDC. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. But here's the thing like, can you, other than the, the characters, like, what makes it issue? Like, for me, that show. Now, if they're going to be appearances on that show, that'd be okay. Well, I'd be interested in those when those four characters are the faces different and the hairstyles a little different. Do they actually make a figure for each? So I'm seeing at least two distinct hairstyles. The paint jobs are all different, slightly different paint jobs. Yeah. I I suspect that the molds are different or different enough. I got a feeling the torsos and the legs are all the same. So I think they went with different head molds and everything else is the same. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they with some paint, with some paint, little paint highlights, maybe. But um, I'm I'm still glad I didn't wait to see if I could get it. It's getting really hard to find mega. So like for my Walmart, I, I hit three mega sets. My two, three of my Toys R Us five mega sets and that includes the two or three pokemons they've got it's thin Man, it's really thin. for such a large company why are they why do they suck at distribution <laughs> here's the, these are going to show up in mexico for like 10 pesos you know yeah and i'm in some of the mega groups from mexico but i just have such a hard time talking deal with them and translates just not helping yeah, I see a lot of them have good deals, and then they just they don't want to ship. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you can't. There's me. a lot of resistance, and yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey, when are you gonna build that Pocono Pinocchio? Um, I want to do a lot more robots before I hit Pinocchio, but Pinocchio is definitely in the pipeline for those figures and characters and robot type stuff. Yeah, you need to use here so. Hide him behind another box. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of the way. But I, I tell you, that box alone, he shows so well. Oh, I yeah. Get a lot of, I get a lot of questions when people are looking. Like, if, even if you look at my headshot so you don't see it like you do with the big screen right now, and people, like, they go and they'll zoom in. Because if you watch YouTube on your phone, you could do this on your phone. And they're looking yeah. at it. They go, What's that? And they'll message me. I go, well, It's Pinocchio. Who makes that? I go, you know, JM Bricklayer, where'd you get it? I go, oh, Amazon, any country, they all got it. I go, really? I go, yeah. And if you look, it's on sale. There's usually a $10 off coupon, at least in Canada. There's usually $10, $15 off coupon on their stuff. Right. And there's sales on it every two to three months on their stuff. So expect another one to come around soon for him. But he's just a beautiful build. I could leave that there forever and be happy. It's just a beautiful set, beautiful box art. But yeah, I've got a. I mean, here I'll show you. So the last stream, everything is right there. So I still got to take all these pictures. <laughs> and now I got to deal with this. And all this after it. 
Yeah. So it's like I'll I'll keep them separate because it will make my life easier when I'm doing pictures and trying to organize my notes and spreadsheets and stuff. But so yeah, look, I got pleasantly surprised, but I'm still I'm on the I've already paid for this out there in the world somewhere. And if that doesn't show soon, I'll go refund. <laughs> How bad would it be to get to get refunded twice? But there's just no way that this is the missing one. There's just no way. And who I'm trying to think of who handled it once it came into Canada. Um, this paperwork doesn't help me at all. Uh, it, was, it was a no name carrier who handled it up here. Whoever that employee was is a hell of a lot better than the guy at the the Walmart desk. Yeah, because they're like, "Oh wait, we've had we've been holding a box for this guy." Yeah, <laughs> Walmart was like, "You have four? What?" Well, like, so I'll tell you when I get, especially the AliExpress stuff. That stuff will, it'll get combined a lot. In fact, I'm, one of the few missing packages I've ever had from Ali, but it got stolen here at my building. It actually got here. Um, they had at the uh, bonded broker. They had combined it, two or three small shipments, two of them actually, into one package. Delivered it here, dropped it in the lobby. My neighbors saw it, didn't pick it up. A couple hours later, when I went down, it's like when I finally, when he told me it was there, it's like, no, it's not. It's gone. Porch pirated. And we were taught what was it? Cell phone cases. Talk about the cheapest, stupidest thing to steal from me. Right. When there's hundred, I mean, I don't like stuff delivered to the door. I like it to go to Canada Post or somewhere else. I do my best to always make that happen. Or to pick yeah, up a where it's securely and it's we're secure and not pick it up. Sometimes I don't have control over that. And there are times when it's hundreds of dollars worth of stuff in a box out there. But the one time the porch pirate got me in the last two years, two two cases for like five or ten bucks each like, you stupid people yeah i would have brought that back <laughs> hey, <here's your> shit. <laughs> you would have found it the next day like open and still on the stairs well were you were you on the stream when the um <laughs> i'm trying to, when that guy got returned or showed up magically which one is it the magic card yeah yeah i think i was so i'd ordered that in the summer and it showed at some point it was delivered, you know. Well, it was two orders, and there was that and another set. And the other set showed a month later, which I expected. And that one I never got, or apparently never got. Right. And I let that go a few more weeks, a month, whatever. And then I contacted Megan and said, hey, I don't got it. I know what it says, but never got here. They were really nice. Five minutes later, boom, refund. And then a month or two later, that thing showed up in one of those kind of paper bags. Yeah, like they tried to build it and then to return it. <laughs> or something. Well, it's just, it was still sealed. I, 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 until I open it, we'll never know. But that will get built. But it's like, it looks pristine. And it's like, but with no shipper box, no nothing, no label. It's just in a boutique bag. It's like, and it's at my door. Okay. You should check. You should check. Like I don't know if you guys have like Facebook Marketplace up there, but like look for listings that never sold, and see if it was one of your neighbors. <laughs> wow! Be like, that hey, is it's like I sold this. Yeah, it's it's, a marketplace it's not that it's crazy unique, unique, but it's not a popular item either, and it's not one that was sold in stores. Be like, yeah, I try to sell it, it didn't go anywhere. Not even for ten bucks, and then see what location they're in, and see if they're local. Wow! Yeah, so I just, I just put it back on the stairs. God damn! But to this day, I still don't know what the story is. I don't know if a neighbor grabbed it. I don't know if a courier grabbed it, or you know, if a courier did something and they're just here, make it go away and give it to the guy. Because we don't have right. any, you know. Because hey, I complained to the couriers and everything. Where's my package? Where's my package? So trust me, it wasn't just. Did uh, mega? I was all over the place trying to get anyone. Where's my package? Right. 
question how can the Lego store be more expensive than the website well different business the website is run as a different business the evidence of that was what they did with all our VIP points the last bunch of years before they kind of more or less rolled it back well that the websites I mean that's that's the warehouse so they're sitting on multiple copies of what you want so they'll run a discount to get rid of it yeah the Lego yeah. store has only got five copies. The warehouse has got 5,000. See, like, uh, so I'll give you an example of um, Walmart. So I work in one of our many warehouses here for them, and we get stuff in. Okay, so a lot of stuff will get skid quantities one, two, three, five skids, whatever, of whatever. Yeah. And as that quantity is coming down, we can't allocate an entire skid space for one box or in our case five because so i think five is the magic number where it falls off the website so once we get to a certain point and it's before that five we'll discount stuff and if it's still not moving and we do get down to five or less then that becomes something the liquidators will end up getting sometimes and i sometimes we will actually forward it downstream to the stores and let them deal with it i can't say that happens a lot i don't know but um that's what i'll do we're under five your store's getting these yeah <laughs> um laying on top of a skid be like surprise <laughs> and it's funny like sometimes i'll get stuff and i'll see that's really beat up and then we're supposed to reject it or forward it back or send it to the liquidator or whatever depending on the item there's different processes and i go to my local store and i go oh my god they did it to the store too they sent them the same stuff that i got the corners are beat up i'm not allowed to sell it what are they and maybe they'll discount it i don't know or maybe the customer hey i want a 10 or 20 percent discount look at this beat up corner i have no doubt the product's fine Right. But it definitely doesn't look great. You know, it doesn't show well. Oh, I've, I've taken some beaten boxes up to the customer service desk and been like, hey, um, they're like, hey, 10% off the bat. No, no questions asked. Yeah. Even on clearance items. Oh, I would absolutely, and I'd absolutely make that request because, yeah, why, you know, what's the worst that can happen? It's a little bit of your time and you might get a discount. Yeah. You know, he's pretty cool. I have not. So I was about to say I haven't bought a figure in years. But that's not true. I bought the Batman figure for the Batwing. Remember the UCS Batwing? Yeah, that was a while ago. So this is one of those rare times. I'm gonna. Did he, did he fit in there well? Is he still in it? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, no, I broke him. I broke him down. We we put him in Ziploc City a month or two back. When I redid the shelves, I pulled out the Batwing and we broke down the Batwing. Even did it on stream, but he did. He sat in there really well. I made um, a slight adjustment to two or three parts to kind of wedge his legs in place, but right. um, the, the set was still stock in the sense that all the original parts were there for it. All I did was move some around to better accommodate the figure. It was almost the perfect figure for uh, that that way. So I was just convinced. Hey, you know that scale. It would accommodate a figure. It pretty much did. Pretty much any three, three and three and a quarter inch, was it three point seven five inch figure would be good. Wow, he's got two. I didn't know he had two rifles. Oh, they put tape in here. I tell you, man, six year old, seven year old me, this figure. Oh my god, I'd be, I'd be all over it. Some of my friends. That, go, is that oh who my ordered god. this figure? Yeah, that's who. Well, I, I, I've been very impressed with the quality of all the six inch Star Wars figures, even the G.I. Joe figures at six inch. They're just really, really nice. I, not worth the money. Oh, I can't believe the price on some of them. Oh, the weight of this guy is crazy. Hope I don't break it. I could do without all these stupid blasts, but 
Wow, nice paint job. Oh, so it's not, okay, I wasn't sure. So it's not a canvas cape. It's kind of a very soft rubber. His armor, oh, his armor actually is not a mold. It's a separate piece, or at least the back pieces. That's neat. Okay. Because I could, to align the holes in the back, I have to shift it. So it's not too bad. Looks like three clips. I could see it being a nightmare to get in there, though. And I call this the, well, actually, this is just like the old Kenner figures in that sense. Oh, that's going to be brutal to get in there. <laughs> it's very and it would have almost been better for them to make that as one piece there we go oh nice okay so what kind of articulation do these guys have oh okay so we got below the knee there can i make this zoom in Watch my camera die now. Usually, if I'm messing around, uh, camera three. All right. How's that? Welcome to Star Wars Figures with Rick. So, what kind of movement? So, we've got. Mm, I'm just so afraid because I haven't done any of these figures. So I, oh, wow. Crazy articulation at the ankle. Lots of ball joining going on. A little bit forward, backward movement. Okay. Uh, the knee, he rotates at the knee. We get the more typical bend. Nice. Um, J. Joe style at the hips. Okay. Shoulder joint, elbow, wrist. Oh, even the wrist moves like this. That's pretty cool. More elbow joint stuff. Very nice. Heads on a really good, looks like a, is it a double pivot? It's a double pivot. One at the bottom of the neck and one at the head joint. Hey, Rick, I hate to do this to you, but I got to jump off. Oh, no, dude. Thanks for hanging. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, guys. Thanks, uh, Shut I him think, down. No, no. Jay's booting up the computer. I think he's trying to join. Really? Okay. Well, I'll hang on for him. <laughs> All right. Well, I hate to leave before he shows up. but. Oh, no. Hey, thanks for hanging so long. No, it was a good time. Yeah, appreciate you having me on. Always, always. Take it easy. Have a good one. All right, I'll see you. All right, so I'm going to stall for a minute or two. Um, let's see. Biker Scout, Wicked, Princess Leia, Han Solo. If I was doing hot, these would be cool, but I'm not going to get into all these. But this guy, hey, both that's always been special. Take it easy, Eileen. We're going to give Jordan a second here. Oh, does his hip? Ah, oh, and his hip. That's crazy. Very, very nice. And Shazam! Wow. <laughs> what laws did you break? None. Check that out, eh? That is, that is pretty cool. I, I you know. Oh I've, yeah, I've been thinking of buying one of these forever, and it's like, you know what, this guy I really wants. So, yeah. yeah, I'll put him somewhere. And look, I even open him on stream, so it's not like he's staying in the blister. Yeah, oh, it looks really cool. I really don't know what you can and can't. I'm so afraid of moving the joint. <laughs> I don't know yeah. too much, but yeah, super poseable, like really mm -hmm. nice, and the paint job's great. Yeah, that paint job is really good. Like, oh, good weather detail. Yeah. Oh yeah. And just all the joinery. Like, I'm still discovering. Yeah. Here and what you can do, and like I got kung fu pose going. Yeah. 
<laughs> just the hey, the neck and the head joint is just great. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't say anything about his helmet coming off, so I'm going to assume it doesn't. Yeah, I can see when I look under, I can see like you can see his chin. Oh, but it doesn't look like there would be a. It's gray, so I don't expect there to be a printed face under there. It's like yeah. like a slight tug, but. No, I don't feel like risking it. No, yeah, I wouldn't. And plus, I do think it's a sin for Boba Fett to take his helmet off. <laughs> yeah. That is just super cool. And I love this stupid little string thing with his little hook thing. Yeah, his grappling hook, yeah. Yeah. The only problem is, like, what do you do with it when you don't want to mess with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice this feature. What? What? He's got like kind of little strings here on uh -huh. his elbow. The detail. Oh and geez. Huh. Yeah, those would be the hoses for his flamethrower. You're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. The flamethrower is also on that wrist too, so Okay. Nice. And now I'm trying to figure out how the hell do you put the stuff in his in one of his guns in his hands? Watch me break his fingers or something. I don't know. <laughs> See, he's got two guns, and one is marked yellow, and I don't know why. Mm. Oh, because one gets cut with a lightsaber, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Return of the Jedi when you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then... Wow, oh, what a great little feature to add on. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, there's the flamethrower. <laughs> I don't have a clue where that's supposed to go or how. They don't even show you. Ah. Uh, there's a book here. So, I don't know how much of the last 10 minutes you caught, but... Oh, I, I, it was playing in, while I was driving, so... The G.I. Joe thing... Yeah, I saw. I was. I listened to the GI Joe and the uh, the Beatles set, and I'm jealous about the Beatles set. I yeah, am jealous. That, I am. Uh, well, I'm still happy I committed to it and didn't. Yeah. Hold it. I mean, I still haven't found it in the GTA. Yeah. You know, or Toys R Us or Walmart. So I know one or two people have, and then I go and I don't find it. I didn't. See, the only thing in my Walmart is just you know some of that the Mega Halo and the Pokemon. And and. Dude, it's thin. My Toys yeah, R Us, yeah. uh, not even my Toys R Us, but the best Toys R Us that I can go to locally had one or two of the Halo sets. Mm -hmm. Not even the Fleet Calm, Warthog. They had the Fleet Calm, one or two of the smaller ones, Banshee or whatever. Yeah. They had the Warthog that's got the yellow on it, mm -hmm. and a Pokemon set or two. It's so thin. It's just ridiculously thin. But, dude, for me to get the Troublemaker set <laughs> yeah, in the I'm bottom lucky. of this box, and, of course, it was on the top even, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, I was lucky. I don't know what the story is. I don't want to know what the story is. I <laughs> the thing is, is that this is coming. Yeah. It paid already. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do with two of these, because it's not like anyone wants any of these sets. So it's like... <laughs> I mean, hey, I could try and list it and, and, and be one of those pricks and go, look, G.I. Joe Lego. Yeah. And be that guy. <laughs> um, and see if I can offload it and say, hey, look, it's got G.I. Joe Lego Duke. Oh, yep. that's horrible. But uh, uh, another interesting collection, not a stick of Lego in here. Yeah. Which is kind of hey. fun how that worked out. Oh, well, because yeah. March... There might be a few sets that I want, right? Plus the oh, yeah. Games and some other things. So yeah. I shouldn't cover up the Beatles. I just got too much crap. It's ridiculous. And look, I was about to put it on the thing I'm building. That's like bad luck waiting to happen. Oh yeah. So I appreciate you racing and breaking the law to get I was it. not breaking the law. <laughs> It wasn't speeding. Don't screw up your driver's abstract <laughs> for my show. Yeah. Well, no, it's like I got I got something new to show, so I wanted yeah. to. Oh, awesome! Yeah. That's so I did another 
brickling quarter. So, got a bunch of bricks. Nice. And, and for the city. The city. Okay. Yeah. The, most of this is definitely for uh, this cafe slash bakery I'm working on. Okay. I, I like yeah. the shape so far. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a European style. Okay. Yeah. So it's it and it's gonna be like three stories. But so that's all for that. Now the story behind this brick league quarter, I was like looking at one of the local bars just so I could go pick it up again. It's like, oh searching there, searching. And it's like, oh, Edmonton Brickyard. Okay, let's see what they got. Yes, they got what I need. I need these blue bricks for my sports shop. So I needed these the most of all. So that's the shade I need. I've been having bad luck with these with, with the blue bricks. I went to the Lego brick book wall thinking that they were the correct shade. Well, they your bad not. your bad luck last time was you got the wrong shade. Yes, just right. the wrong okay. shade. Like it was much lighter than what I wanted. Okay. Yeah, but I got the right shade now. Okay. So, ordered them. Got everything I need. Like, huh? And I come to the store. I was like, oh yeah, we're open at this time. Come by anytime. It's like, okay, you're you're open. I was like thinking. Most brickling quarters I've ordered are out of people's homes, but okay. Type up their web their address on my phone. It's a store. I like actual store. An actual in Edmonton. It's like seriously, I did not know about this. Drove there, walked in, it's like my they're not as packed as like say the brick bin down in Calgary. Like that's oh, so this is packed. a different store for sure then. Yes. Okay. A, yes. I know we were talking about it. Okay. Yes, because I know T Mog. You know T Mog, Jacob. Uh, no, J J Jacob Hartwell. Um, T Mog. He's got numbers. I can't remember. Oh. Um, actually, he used to be around my channel a lot. He's got his own thing. He's doing okay. And nice. uh, but he went. Th he went to that store you're talking about. The other one a few times after or before Brixie did. Oh, okay. And then I think he was concerned, like, oh, now that Brixie's exposed it. <laughs> Now yeah. they're all going to disappear. And... Yeah. Well, and this one, they had a lot of nice sets inside. Like, they, they did. And it's like, talked, and it was like, I did not know you guys, this guy, that this place was here. This is like, I come here more often. It kind of sucks. It's on the south side of the city. It's going to take me, like, 45 minutes each way to get there to that place. Nice but, little hidden gem. A little, yeah, a little hidden gem. It's like, they had some set. They had some, like, sets that i i wanted to buy but they were pricey they were like a few hundred dollars pricey yeah and they were old lego system <sighs> uh, uh trying to hang on tra train no not train uh they're like adventure style they're like like egyptian style okay the name's on the top of my head. Pharaoh? I think Pharaoh. Pharaoh something of the Pharaoh. Uh, I'm, I can't remember because I didn't buy any of those. I wasn't into it, but. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yes, here they are. Gotta love that Lego app. Yeah. Uh temple of anubis oh okay, let me hang on let me they had they had that hang on nice okay yeah, yeah. and they had that one there okay oh i like that one yeah sealed in the box Sealed. See, I don't know how much of your stuff, like, like, have you been buying a lot of vintage older sets? Because, hey, it's great to fill out a collection for your missing pieces and stuff, but yeah, it gets costly quick. And as it, it a, does, I got to a point where, well, first I end up getting most yeah. of everything I wanted anyway. So once yeah. I started getting to that point where it's like, oh, I got 80% of kind of everything I really wanted. Mm -hmm. 
and then I realized, okay, I can continue, but the ones I don't have are even pricier still. And it's like, or I could take that money, yeah, put it into all my new stuff, and of course buy plenty more and expand and try other stuff. <laughs> you know, get you know three, four sets instead of one. That kind of thinking, right? Yeah, and, I do. I do have a couple of those ones. Those ones like I got when I was a kid, like. I know they're kind of hard to see with the blurriness. Yeah. But. Yeah. Ooh. I, I do have most of these parts. Like, obviously, some of them I've lost over the years, but those that pterodactyl, I have three of them. Wow. Yeah. I still have some of those parts. So. I'm not sure what they're worth on Bricklink, but I bet you you could probably sell one or two and get something you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the other thing I picked up, looking on Marketplace, found it for 20 bucks, just literally five minutes away from my house. Uh-oh. No. Very nice. Very uh -huh. reasonable, too. How much? 20 bucks. You're laughing. I know. I actually almost bought a second one today, too. But it's like, like they call, they text me back, like, their price was $40, so I was like, we're paying $20 more for a second one. Which I I would have put it in the city anyway. I would have put both of them in. Yeah. But I'm happy with this. And like they said, they had two other people asking. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to be greedy. They got two other people. Give it to one of them. I'll just take the one I got for 20 bucks instead of paying $60 for two of them. No, that's because the other one was $40. So I think this was good good enough yeah so i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> for now for now and that's the problem it's like oh yeah that's the worst part of, of buying happiness it's like okay and then tomorrow <laughs> wow <laughs> next week i gotta pay a truck to repair bill so yeah Not forward to that spending the money is one thing but once you get the truck back it'll be all finally yeah because that's the worst part, because this is what, going on a month now? Yeah, a month. I haven't driven it for a month. And then I got to save up for save up the next two months and buy a new set of tires. When my um, 2009 Matrix got destroyed in the snowstorm, the big one that took out Ontario. Yeah. That was like, that storm was so bad that a third of our city had no power. Oh, yeah. For days. Jeez. Um, the tree that took out the car mm -hmm. came down through the windshield, uh, the hood, the quarter panel, still drivable, mm -hmm. but I, I had no effective windshield. We drove around for hours to get outside the dead zone power wise mm -hmm. to get food because we knew we had to do shopping. So imagine <laughs> this. Yeah. Winter cold windshield smashed. Yeah. This is not working. The wiper is not working. Hole in the front. We do that. We go up to the dealer uh, to um, drop off the car, or try and get the rental. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was like three to five weeks before I got my car back after everything mm -hmm. was fixed. Because, well, everything was shut down. It was horrible. Yeah. To the point where even the rental company was doing everything with their own cell phones and pen and paper because their computer <laughs> systems weren't working. Nothing was working that day. It was horrible. Wow. Yeah, that was quite the nightmare. But they fixed it better than new, and that's that's what's actually funny. Like a good, a good repair job in a car, mm -hmm. you could end up with something that's better than what the manufacturer gave you. Like sometimes you might find when you when you get a new vehicle, you might find the lines or gaps wherever might be off on one side or the whatever. Yeah, I never really had that issue with the Toyotas, but absolutely, I'm sure someone has, right? Oh, right. any manufacturer. But then you go get it repaired, and they repair it better than it was manufactured routinely. And I hear this all the time. Like, look at this. This is better. My friend's Acura, when it was smashed and he got it fixed, he goes, my hood was never this good. And now it's <laughs> perfect, you know? Well, a few years ago, like, like, yeah, like four or five years ago, we had a bad cold snap. And it did affect my trucks. Like, my truck's eight years old. And... 
my truck when i bought it it was supposed to be this whole like special new suspension for it it had the four corner they call it a four corner air suspension when actually it's a closed nitrogen system we had this cold snap it broke the compressor on it and it was just past warranty <laughs> and a new compressor is thirty eight hundred dollars <sighs> Oh. For this closed nitrogen system. Yeah. And so I just said, no, 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 I'm not doing that. Drove it around. Like, it still worked in, in warmer temperatures. The suspension was fine in warmer temperatures. But in cold temperatures, it drops all the way down. Yep, and you flat. feel every bump on the road. So, saved up. A couple of years went by. I had this shop right now that's working on the truck right now, replacing the engine. Take out the whole nitrogen system suspension and just put in four corner struts, just normal suspension. Yep. Just normal, and it's brand fine ever since. Super reliable stuff that will yeah. last you five, yeah. five and ten years. So as you know, abusive, it'll be fine. Yeah. And like I haven't had a problem with my suspension since. So like, e even with the last Rav Four, like when they told me, you know. Mm -hmm. A year ago in January or whatever, hey, you know, your rear strut suspension on the uh, right side is blah, blah, blah. You know, it's going to be whatever to fix it. And it's like, nah, man, I first I don't trust it. It's, you know, not that I have any issue reason to not trust them, but it's like, yeah, OK, I get it. You guys been pushing. You've been wanting the car because it has such high resale value. You definitely know that I'm t your typical customer who will come in and buy another one, <laughs> which I yeah. did, right? Which I yeah. did. So, hey, well played because it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to throw, you know, $2,500, $2,800 after a repair Yeah, that maybe I didn't need or that they exaggerated or whatever. I don't know because I'm not a grease monkey. I wasn't going to be able to. I mean, yeah, I'm an idiot. I got under looked up. I can't tell what I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I see it, um, but I don't see anything wrong with it. And half of what they're telling me is, well, pushing this and this and that. Well, I can, it's not something I'm going to be able to see from my perspective. Oh, so yeah. I'm really curious how they saw it. A, there's a lot of ways they can see stuff, you know, camera scopes, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm not, I can't accuse them of doing anything funny. I just really feel I've never had a problem with a Toyota that wasn't caused by us. You know, like yeah. the vehicle's been great. One time I took it in because I was so dumb. I fed a USB cable through a vent thinking I could bring it up through another vent because I saw some other dummy do it. And then it got stuck. So I drove drove home and I need my AC working, right? <laughs> I drove into the dealership and literally the guy said, oh, not you too. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, can you fix it? He goes, yeah. And I, I, and I go, I pretty much guarantee you're not getting your cable back. I don't care. <laughs> and two minutes later, he says, your car's ready to go. Oh, you popped it all off? They did nothing more than yank the cable out. It's <laughs> the cable, right? <laughs> they were not going to remove anything to get that, you know, five. Oh, it, it's a headache to, re to, re to like, do anything with the fence. You have, you have to pull out the entire dash. Yeah. But, no, one guy, dude, what I had seen was a guy was really slick. The way he, you know, vented a cable through this vent and then out here and then like, oh, it's super sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm an idiot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, hey, lesson learned. Yeah. And then, then, the, then, the, then, of course, the car accidents. But none of those, you know, well, most of them. Oh, I was mm -hmm. hit once. My wife was hit the other times. And then she hit one. Mm -hmm. But um, none of those are Toyota's issues. And every time, oh. I mean, the car, the things are tanks. So yeah. I have nothing but good things to say about them. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for hanging with me. I'm looking well, at this. Thanks, thanks for waiting out. out. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> they give you these little muzzle flashes, right? Okay. But it's not like they stick on. Are you, are you oh. sure enough for the jetpack? Oh, dude. Oh, well, you're smarter than me. <laughs> Did they look the right size? Oh, no, no. Yeah, they are pretty. That's what they yep. are. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's probably that's what it is, and I can see that. Yeah. Now, hmm. the big one's definitely for the for his wrist. For the oh, floor. okay, yeah, and I see it like that. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. I just like with the gun. Oh yeah. No, hey, 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 looks badass. I'll I'll make that pose that he does in the you know where he's holding his hands with the gun or whatever. Oh yeah. That'll be enough for me. That's money well spent. Funny enough, I, I just finished uh playing the new Star Wars uh Jedi Survivor game. Yeah, nice, eh? Yeah. It looks great. Oh yeah. I don't know if I can run it, so yeah. I don't want to commit to it. No fair. Uh and I just finished like defeating all the bounty hunters. Do you want me to spoil it or do you care? Oh, I don't. Yeah, you're not spoiling anything for me. Okay. Yeah. And after you defeat the last bounty hunter, Boba Fett comes in and takes that last bounty hunter as his bounty. No way. Yeah, he just comes in. He's like, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. And you just like, nope, take him. He's yours. Wow. Is it a nice cinematic? Yeah, it's a nice cinematic. Uh, and you even get to talk to Boba Fett for a little bit afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Not much. Just, you know, just a little commentary. But, yeah, it was, yeah. Like, you're, you're battling the other bounty hunter. You take him down. And then Boba Fett just, like, blasts and then just jetpacks in. Then there's, like, a whole Mexican standoff. And then Boba Fett tethers him and pulls him closer and aims the gun at Cal. And then just, Cal's just like, Psh! You take them. You won. One oh. of my, friend, my, my friends who collect the figures, they're going to be so upset that I did this thing with the card. <laughs> so we've shown you how to remove them cleanly. It's like, it's garbage to me. Come on. I'm yeah. not playing that game. That's, that's literally where it's going. <laughs> I'll throw his other stuff in his Ziploc because I have no real intention of touching that stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. What I oh, might yeah. do is make a cape for him, though. Like, I mean, this is nice, but it would be nicer if it was like more fabricy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like more like like can like blow around. Yeah, for sure. I can. That have one looks pretty shot. stiff. Uh, that looks good. But he's a good looking figure. Oh yeah. I I tell you, I was it was him or Vader. Mm -hmm. And then, trust me, if I really want Vader, I'll get Vader. But uh, Vader looks amazing too. But I don't know. Like I've seen this listed as black and not black, and I've seen the other ones where the black is the box. But I've also seen black, but now it's with archive. I can't get these figures straight. And what's what line anymore? Yeah. You know, and I know they went to temporarily an old cardboard box, but now I hear that's going away again. I don't know. I'm glad I don't collect these. I oh. just want one. That's a whole nother headache right there. Yeah. That's a whole nother headache right there if you were just collecting all those lines too. Well, it's like I've always swore like I would never get the pops unless mm -hmm. there was for me, like if I saw I, I've seen a lot of cool ones, like the Halo ones were cool, yeah. and there's been a few others that have been of interest, but I've still never bought a pop. I've had one given to me, but I've never bought one. I have one. Oh yeah, what do you got? I have uh a Hoth Han Solo that came from, it was a pop, and it came in a uh, a Loot Crate box. Really? It was a Loot Crate exclusive. Okay. Yeah. I've been tempted to do one of those crate gimmicks. There's actually kind of a brick crate or a Lego crate, but it's not, usually not actual Lego in it. It's whatever Yeah. company's saying, oh, I already do enough non-Lego stuff. I don't need to commit to a, a case a month. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, I was, was with Loot Crate for years, and then then they filed for bankruptcy, but they were still pumping out crates, and then I had, like, a couple different, I had a regular Loot Crate, and then I had the Follow Ink Loot Crate and the Destiny Loot Crates, and then really? I canceled the regular Loot Crate, then eventually canceled the, de de canceled the Destiny, and then I finally canceled the Follow Loot Crate, because they were backed up. They were just like coming in two months late. They were like, oh, so you could, like, you could, if you wanted to do reviews of them or anything, you couldn't because it wouldn't be timely at all. Yeah. I did a couple of unboxing videos of what I got, like back in the earlier days, but they were at one point, Loot Crate was eight crates behind on delivering to me. Eight crates behind. That's pretty unreliable at that point. Yes. And it's like, Okay, this is eight crates now. I'm done. Canceling it. Everything finally showed up. Everything showed up because I only paid for it. But I just canceled future crates because 
it was becoming a waste of money. It's like, okay, I spent all this money. Where's my crates? Yeah. They haven't even left yet. Where are they? Yeah. What's the hold up, guys? And they're like, oh, it's the ports. It's the ports. And like, I'm looking online and like other people are posting the same crates that I'm waiting on in the States. Yeah. So it's like, why do they have it? But I don't have mine. Like that makes and saying, oh, it's the ports from like COVID and everything. Doesn't make sense. People down the states are posting crates that I'm waiting There's on. Definitely a lot of people playing the excuse game for a long time with you know yeah. the shipping and COVID and that. But very quickly the world had figured out the ways around the shipping. So they realized, oh, we need all this to still work. Mm -hmm. We could deal with not being so social and this and that, but we actually need our stuff. Because that's yeah. what will keep us from rebelling and overthrowing all the evil empires in our life. <laughs> and, and that's why, hey, even everyone who resisted the idea of online shopping and online this and online that, they all bent over backwards in the end. Yep. They became Amazon customers, Walmart customers, whatever. You know, I started ordering from companies like you know Entertainment Earth just to make sure I could get some stuff because – they were generally pretty good about guaranteeing some of the stuff that was too hard to get in Canada, like a lot of the mega stuff. Yeah. You know, they would, this is direct from mega, yeah. but um, entertainment earth is one of those companies that would get it, but now I'm paying extra to get it from them. And it's like, I really hate dealing with them. They're such sharks. No, yeah. Not that they're bad. They never screwed me. And they, at least they canceled stuff. Like yeah. they knew they wouldn't have quantities even before I should have gone there. Like, oh, we canceled your order. Why? Well, we're not going to have our allocation. Okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. right. You didn't hold me. You didn't keep me waiting. You didn't hold my money. Great. Yeah. But um, so, are you are you excited for the new taxes coming uh, April first? Oh, which ones? The digital service tax. <sighs> No, well, okay. I'm gonna play ignorant. Actually, I am ignorant of it. I um, mean, all the talk about it coming forward, I pretty much buried my head in the sand. So, how about yeah. you? I mean, because it, now it's gonna land in, on my face, apparently. Yeah. So, how much? Fuck, I can't remember. I can't remember. I think it said like something like around two percent or something. Really. So this is just what the feds are sticking this to us, or? Yeah, anytime it's going to be like any purchase online, we're going to get stuck with a digital service tax on top of the GST. I wonder how they're going to track that. Digital I don't know. Tax Canada beginning, actually, certain large Canadian non-Canadian businesses will need to prepare for the imposition of a 3% Canadian digital service oh, tax, DST, on their in-scope digital services revenues. Oh, you know what? So you, that's like Netflix, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, they're all pretty shitty and expensive already. So yeah, it might, I don't know if that tax will be enough to push people into dropping a service, but I already have a lot of services. I don't know if 3% is going to be enough for me to want to drop one. Yeah. I mean, the one I probably watch the least would be Crave, but they do have stuff I like, and I'm waiting for like Last of Us to come back on it. Yeah. And that gives me my access to HBO stuff. So there Not is good stuff on Crave. Um, Prime, I don't watch a lot on Prime, but I'm watching Reacher, which is great. And mm -hmm. I know the, um, that show, the, the Western show, the modern Westerns, they're all on Prime. and Yeah. So I don't know. And, and thing I... Prime, I also got the Paramount Plus. I do that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got Paramount Plus and Disney Plus. Yeah, Disney and, Plus. And, and Amazon Prime. Although Disney Plus, I could see me dropping it and just picking it up a few times a year when I want it. Because Yeah. No, oh, yeah. And I've been, I've been this way since the beginning. Like, I was a day one subscriber. As soon as I could get it on my Samsung TV, I did. As soon as yeah. that app was available. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, I burned through this stuff, and now there's nothing. And then I burned through some stuff, and then there's nothing. 
Yeah. And I know they tried to space stuff out and they were smart with the different TV shows, but it's like, see, now we've gone this long. Yeah. Like, hey, after Soka, come on, we need another show. If you're not going to keep feeding us and there's no new movies. Yeah. By the way, Phantom Menace has come back to the theater in May. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? I heard, yeah, I heard that. I mean, it might, it might be nice to see it in the theater again, but if it's no new footage, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be new to somebody. It won't be That's new true. to me. It's going to be <laughs> That's true. You know, hey, it's a Star Wars movie I haven't seen before. Oh yeah, and I've seen Disney. It. See, they're hurting. They need the money. Yeah. There's a really decent chance that someone like uh, Elon Musk is going to buy them up. Mm -hmm. They might just buy the Star Wars, or they might buy Star Wars and Disney as a whole, because. You know, for, well, first, Disney is one of those companies that kind of said, screw you to Twitter. Yeah. And, at, you know, being a advertiser. And Elon basically said, well, I don't need you. F you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't need it. And he basically said that anyway, I, none of you guys are going to tell me what to do with my service or what I'm going to, who I'm going to allow or what I'm going to allow. Like, you know, none of you. Yeah. Take, take your money. I'll fund it on my own, which yeah. you can't. But, you know, the guys at Disney have really pissed off Elon Musk that, you know, more than once lately, he said, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and he's one of the few guys on the planet. Like if he can't he could. with liquid cash, he'll go get two or three of his buddies mm -hmm. and they'll form a consortium and they will buy it. Yeah. If he's not already stockpiling stock now, just so he could be a major shareholder, which I'm sure he is anyway, because it's not stupid to have their stock. Yeah. It's just, they haven't had much in a way of big hits lately. Marvel hasn't, they don't have a good Marvel thing. Star Wars, I mean, you're not making money on the T on the, um, the Ahsoka stuff, you know, and, 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 or in that the streaming is the streaming. It makes yeah. a little bit of money. It's probably still not profitable, but you know, it's not a cash cow for them. So it's like, yeah. your theme parks are down. We know that we've seen that in the news. So yeah, he's hurt. And it's like, look, uh, uh, Nate had a, a wish set. I didn't even know there was yep. a movie called Disney Wish. Really? Oh, yeah. They had, I used to be a big it was, it was It was supposed to be their 100-year anniversary movie. Really? Yeah. And it, it flopped. Is it on the service yet? <sighs> I can't even check on my phone. I haven't logged in. I mean, I've been, oh, look at this. I've been wanting to watch Marvels or Miss Marvel. I haven't watched either of those. Moon yeah. Knight, I never finished. Fair enough. Uh, she Hulk, I did watch, but I now they watched that one the second yet. season. Well, I, I, the reason I watched She Hulk is because, from my perspective, it looked like the She Hulk from the John Byrne. I don't know if you know who John Byrne was. John Byrne was a writer slash artist for Marvel back in the eighties. Okay. So eighties uh, and nineties, when I was collecting, he was one of the guys I liked. He did a lot of the early uh, the Wolverine stuff. Okay. Um, if he wasn't the guy who did the early appearances of Wolverine in the Uncanny X-Men, then he was the one who did the second story arc, probably around issues 130 and on of the Uncanny X-Men. Probably did that. Probably didn't do 107, which was probably the new X-Men at the time, mm -hmm. which was B, Cyclops, Wolverine, da 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 So if he didn't do from 107, he probably did from 131 on yeah. until about 150. I can just uh, message how late? She didn't say. I'll find out. I'm not saying no. I'll just find out. Um, but anyway, I liked him as a writer. Mm -hmm. I liked him more as an artist, but as a writer, I liked him. And his version of She-Hulk is what the series was supposed to be. And I'm not saying it was ever great, but at least this was. Uh, I was hoping that the TV show would at least be a fair representation of something I recognize from the comics. Cause a lot of the comic book stuff today, I don't recognize. Yeah. Um, Hey, I'll say it black Nick Fury. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the Nick Fury. I remember. Don't okay. get me wrong. It's been awesome, but not the one I remember. There's been yeah. a lot of stuff in the comics for whatever reason with the updating, you know, that I either don't agree with or just like, why, why would you do it? Yeah. What was your reasons for it? It's like, really? Come yeah. on, you're doing it for really silly reasons. I mean, I'd rather have you age out a character and have mm -hmm. them get old 
one of the biggest problems with all the you said around midnight. You know, one of the biggest problems with uh, the characters, especially DC. DC has this problem: Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not aging, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like you keep retelling their origin stories, and you try and update it a little. I remember the comic book cover: Superman lifting a Volkswagen Bug, the original one. Yeah, it's fifties, sixties stuff, right? Whatever. Uh, you know, trying to retell a Superman origin story for the eighties, nineties, or two thousands, like it's weird now. Mm-hmm. And trying to update that story to make it look good. Age them out, have them get yeah. old, have them have kids, do it properly. Yep. People like serialized stories. Yeah, no, we got to keep them young for whatever reason. Like, now you pe- now you you penciled yourself in a box you can't get out of. Mm-hmm. And I watch DC do this all the time. The new Fifty Two Crisis on Infinite Earths. These are all reboot storylines, and then sometimes the reboot was so bad they backpedaled, and then they realized, oh, some of this is good, some of this was good. So now we're going to do, you know, Infinite Earth storyline, like. So now we cherry pick, you know, oh, we like Flash from here, Superman from here, Batman from here. <laughs> they crash their whole thing. So yeah. Quickly. And honestly, I feel like we've seen that with the movie universe from DC. Very disorganized. You know, at least the Marvel one, even if it's written badly, at least yeah. it's still connected. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's... They haven't dropped the ball on that, but the DC one is just horrible. To be honest, the only DC movies I've ever seen are the Dark Knight trilogy. Which is good. As far oh, as yeah. Movie. Yeah. Um, was it no- Nolan? Yeah, Christopher yeah. Nolan. Yeah, yeah. His stuff. Dude, it's, it's still... That's good. Don't get me wrong. I love the campy stuff. 1989 Batman. I do love it. But in Michael Keaton is Batman is still my Batman. But the Nolan stuff was the best in the yeah. story and quality and maturity and believability he definitely if you're going to update batman he did he did a good job mm-hmm. 89 batman that was meant to appeal to the campy stuff because you gotta remember before that what did we have the tv series <laughs> adam west so yeah. 1989 batman while it wasn't an homage to that it definitely didn't completely shit on that either it's like <laughs> We understand this is still a guy running around in spandex. Okay, now it's rubber suits, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, hey, it was fun, and that's what it was. It was just fun marketing. It's it toy driven kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I really wish they would. It's too bad the um, what was what was the actor, the current Batman guy, not the not the vampire guy, because I'll never look at him as Batman. <sighs> The one before him, J Lo's boyfriend, um, husband. Um, the one who did the Justice League movie too. Um, oh, I don't remember his name. Um, Val Kilmer? No, no. no. Oh God! I, honestly, I thought he was the worst Batman of all. Of them. No, not not. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> J Lo. Boyfriend now, uh, the Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's black. <laughs> I actually thought he was a good Batman, I thought he was fine. Oh, sure. And I watched that newest one with the vampire guy, and you know, visually and story, it wasn't horrible, but that guy is never gonna be Batman for me, he just doesn't do it. And if they make him do another one, like. It was hard enough for me to watch him the first time. I don't know if I got it in me to sit through another. Yeah. You know, there's a Penguin TV series. Hmm? There's a Penguin TV series. There's a Penguin TV series. There's a Penguin. It's on one of the streaming services. I kid you not. Oh. It goes to show you how bad it is with the DC stuff. Because at least we know of the Arrowverse, you know, and, and Green Arrow. And, like, they've done all these on CW and stuff. Yeah. There's a Penguin TV show. And yet ever, we don't know about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. You ever watch Gotham? The TV I did. Series? Yeah. I like, that. I like that. They did that. I think they did that one good. Yeah. Uh, Where he was a kid. 
Yeah, I, I kind of like that. And I thought it was an interesting angle to take because it's like, I yeah. can imagine what it's like to be a rich orphan kid with your butler slash bodyguard slash whatever always yeah. around and being your guardian. and Yeah. You know, I thought it was a neat take on it. And Oh, yeah. Uh, and there's so many stories you could tell in all these universes if you just want to tell it and take some time. And you don't have mm -hmm. to butcher everything. I know people say, oh, well, we'll know he'll never die because he lives this. Okay, that's true. He can still tell a good story. Oh, yeah. Or you could take it in another direction. Um, DC had Elseworlds, I think, as an imprint brand. So that's kind of like Marvel's What If. Oh, okay. Which I really like Marvel doing. I would. I'd like oh, to see like what if as a movie, not as a cartoon or animated. Hey, I yeah. was happy to even have that. Like, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. Give us those what if stories. Because in 1980, I want to say three or four, the what if comics, mm -hmm. that was, it wasn't one of my, it wasn't my first comic, but it was definitely one that when I saw it, I usually picked it up. Because nice. what was nice about them is they're one off stories, one episode, one, one issue yeah. usually. And you usually got what was some writer or artist's early work. Like this was their tryout almost. This was their, mm -hmm. we can give them this one project because it won't affect anything. And if no mm -hmm. one buys it, no one buys it because it doesn't yeah. affect anything. And some of the what if stuff was great. Not that it ever went anywhere, but it definitely was good for an artist or a writer. That's where they yeah. could kind of get their feet wet. So I, I Definitely some cool stuff come out of what if. Oh yeah. I'd like to see more. I just don't know if Disney's got it in them. And if Elon Musk buys it, I don't think he'll spend any that's a problem. Like, oh everyone's oh, it'd be cool if Elon Musk buys the stuff. No, because here's the thing. He might get rid of all the stuff we hate going mm -hmm. on, Disney and Marvel and Star Wars. But I don't think he's gonna spend any extra money. Yeah. He's not going to try fresh things. He's just going to probably narrow it and give us the purest form. Yeah. Hey, there's Big Nate. <laughs> <laughs> He's hanging on the Facebook. Yeah. You know what? With that note, I got to go a bit. I live with my daughter calling to say, I'm not going to be home at 30. That's my reminder. It is a work night for me. Yeah. No worries. All right. Thanks for hey, your good job. Thanks for at least staying on so I could quickly hop on. Oh, no. Hey, I, I always <laughs> glad to have you. Oh, yeah. All right. And I guess I got to remote Mr. Kevin Creamer again. <laughs> Mr. Don't show. That's two. <laughs> Not that I'm keeping score. Bugger. <laughs> anyway, take it easy and I'll catch you later. Yeah. Yeah. Peace.